Hello, my sexy Aquariuses. If you stumbled across this video, you're in luck. Sun, moon, rising, or cross watcher. This is your lovely reading for August 8th through August 12th. If you are seeing this after, have no fear. Just take what resonates, leave the rest. But let's go ahead and get started, Aquarius. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do our lovely Aquariuses need to know for the week ahead? Thank you. So first and foremost, we have the world coming up in the upright position. So all about success, um, sense of belonging, you know, whether or not that's in your career, feeling like you're moving into a new love, a relationship, potential travel. But I think it might have to do with love because... The lovers came out, so major choices in love. This is the lovely soulmates card. Union, if you've been in separation, you know, sexual connections, you know, the big kahuna. But we have the lovely four of pentacles as well. So you might be holding on to someone. You might be holding on to someone from the past. This might be someone new. And you're just really kind of having like that eye on the prize or you're just holding on too tight. You need to take a deep breath. Take a, tape, take a deep breath in and just, you know, you can't control people. You can't fix people. You can, can only control your actions, your words, and how you face your love life. But basically with this, it also is focused around, um, since the previous card was love, this could be a situation of having financial security, financial stability. So good things coming in, but you might just be holding on to the people too much. And that's what's restricting your lovely finances from coming in. And yeah, if you don't balance this and work through those final triggers and decide where you want to take this and where you're holding on too tight and be self-aware, you're going to have some regrets and really miss out on some offers. And you're stuck in this daydreaming world where you need to tap into what's happening now in the present. That's what you need to focus on. Because yes, we have the two of wands in reverse. So we have indecision, delays, postponement, postponement postponement. I can't talk today. This person doesn't want to talk, but you're moving into this queen of pentacles energy. So stability, once again, um, basically having that balance of being a mother, a businesswoman, if you are a mom, really just stepping into that power, acknowledging what you can and cannot control and focusing on the bag more importantly. But let's go ahead and jump to the second deck bestie and see what you need to know with the beach time soul oracle Aquarius. What do my lovely Aquariuses need to know for the week ahead here, please spirit? Thank you. Well, first and foremost, you have some sudden change coming. This is rapid movement. This is basically the eight of wands in this deck. You might be seeing five, five, five. You're gonna have some for form of transformation in your life. This could be because you are avoiding some sort of conversation or someone else is. There's some sort of separation. You aren't talking. There's a fight. Well, just know you're going to have more communication coming forward. Someone is going to open the doors and proceed forward and tell you what they're thinking about. Because, you know, this is leaving you heartbroken, confused, and you deserve answers. And I think you're finally going to get them at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have the I like you card. So someone cares for you flirty romance is blooming <clears> throat chakra they don't want me to say that they're getting out of this karmic energy those karmic cycles they're really realizing what they have before it's too late we love that finally bestie because you're moving into this paradise this happiness this love expansion joy could be a vacation but really this person's going to go ahead and remove their mask tell you how they feel and really come forward and progress the relationship so I love that for you. Let's go ahead and jump to our lovely angel answer. So think about a person, place, or thing, and I'll get you some more specifics on it. But what do my Aquariuses need to know about their situation? Thank you. Thank you. So you might have to ask for help from others, whether this is relying in a relationship, asking for a more equal give and take, asking for that promotion, that raise, whatever you need. Turn to your angels, God, the universe, your ancestors, basically whoever you rely on, ask them for strength, patience, kindness, whatever you are needy, because it's up to you 
because in the near future, two to four weeks, you're going to get this opportunity in finances. You can see the money raining down on this angel. They're throwing bands on these hoes out here. And within the next few months, two to four months, everything will be completely different in your life. With the peaceful resolution, this is a better outcome than what you could have ever expected or hoped for. And I love this for you at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you are just in hermit mode, recovering, focused on yourself, focused on meditating and really getting grounded because with that, there will be no need to worry, Bestie. You are taken care of by the divine. You are the chosen. You are protected. And we love that. So let's go ahead and jump to our final deck that we have which is the Hidden Truth Oracle. So this is messages from your person. So think of a specific person. You could be in separation. You could be together. This is what they're not telling you. This is what basically they wish that they could tell you. Thank you. So first and foremost, they feel so happy with you. Um, they definitely still have feelings for you. So if you are in separation, they still do care about you. If you are in this connection, then their feelings are deepening. But, you know, this person has let you down in the past. Maybe they ghost you. Maybe they have some bad habits that they're trying to work through. And you're like, I feel like I keep telling you, like, can we please not do this? Let's compromise. And it's just like going in one ear, going out the other. But with that, they definitely feel the sexual tension. You have that spark. You have that spice. And I love that for you, bestie. Just know that they see life differently now. So they're definitely going through some sort of change, transformation, uh, awakening, some of that sort. I think they're really just being more self-aware and understanding where they need to take this because they li literally do love you and they can't be without you. So... Just know they're watching your social media. They're spying, searching, lurking, seeing what you're up to because you are that queen. You are that king. And right now they're just feeling like they can't do this. They're not up to par. They haven't leveled up. They don't know what comes next. But I do know that they um, can't get enough of you. And I think that's going to be the last straw that breaks the camel's back, if you know what I mean. But... I'm having so much love for you, Aquarius. Great news and finances. I just think you have a lot of options and a few things you just need to, you know, tweak and reevaluate. But go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Become a bestie if you're not. Follow the TikTok. You already know the jam over there. Post in way more frequently. And also, my love, just letting you know, I'm starting a new thing and it's for free. So anyone who is subscribed to the YouTube channel and comments on any of the video in, um, wow, in August, I forgot what month it was. I'm picking three people and we're going to do a one-on-one -on -one session and you're going to get a free 30-minute reading from yours truly but you have to be subscribed to the youtube channel to be eligible and comment on any of the august videos if you comment on more than one you know ups your chances bestie and until next time aquarius i love you i'm sending you so much love so much light tell someone to fuck off today tell yourself that you're gorgeous or handsome you deserve it and do some bad bitch some bad king energy shit today bye besties i love you